Hello there, welcome to my channel, Jewel Street. Today I am sharing my small leather goods collection. Over time, I have collected these pieces as I love to use smaller leather items from the day to day. Before I begin, please don't forget to subscribe if you end up enjoying this video and let me know down in the comments which piece ends up being your favorite. Before we begin, I just wanna shout out these adorable handmade crochet pumpkins. They're from a brand called Monera Jewelry on Etsy, and they are so cute. I have a bunch of these just to usher in fall. I just love fall. Now that it's October, it's just pumpkins everywhere. Anyways, let's get into my SLGs. Let me start off with this card holder from Saint Laurent. This is the Cassandre Matalassé card case in grande de poudre embossed leather in the gold hardware and black leather. This retails for $295. One thing to highlight is this is made from chrome-free leather. There's two card slots in the front, one at the top, and two in the back right here. This piece was made in Italy. I have used this very frequently for almost three years now, and it hasn't shown me any signs of wear, as you can see. The leather is quite substantial and I can feel it. I think it was a bit stiff when I first started using it, but now it has an easier time accommodating cards. I really love this middle slot up here, and actually you can see the gorgeous um, branding on the inside, and it says made in Italy as well. This is the perfect spot to hide some cash. It's actually, you know, pretty spacious as you can see especially for a card holder. I love the saturation of black on this piece and the texture of the leather is gorgeous. I use this very frequently with my black handbag and I just love using this. Next are my SLGs from Louis Vuitton. I have quite a few, so let's get started. First, this is the Louis Vuitton key pouch in Demir Ben. This now retails for $325. I bought this prior to price increases for I think it was around $110. This is a small but accommodating pouch. The zipper is nice and buttery and the keychain is lovely gold hardware with, as you can see, the LV motif right there on both sides. And this particular piece was made in France. I use this to store a couple of cards, some cash, and then I attach my keys and go when I have to run a couple errands. It's so convenient when I don't wanna wear a bag and I want something really small and I love that I can combine my keys to this and have everything that I need. I think an important thing to point out is that the keychain itself is pretty secure, so you never have to feel worried that anything is gonna fall off. So you actually have to pull down on this before releasing it. And that makes it pretty secure. And I'm confident that I won't lose my things when I attach things to this key ring. Overall, this is perfect for the bare minimum items that you need when you wanna pop over somewhere quickly. And you really just don't feel like bringing a purse or a lot, but obviously you may need your ID or some credit cards. So this is perfect. Here we have the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet in the monogram canvas and the brown interior. This retails for $575. I love that this wallet is an envelope style with the pop stud closure. It has six dedicated slots for cards, two extra hidden slots, which are kind of larger right here and right here. It also has a cash slot as well as a coin purse right here. So very versatile and functional. This particular piece was made in Italy, as you can see right here. I love how casual this wallet is, and it almost looks a little bit dainty in a way. The interior is leather and the exterior is canvas. This is more of a recent purchase, so I haven't had a chance to fully break this in yet, 
One thing to note is that you really can't overfill the wallet because otherwise it's going to have a very hard time closing. And I think though that the leather, as you use it, will the interior leather will become a lot more accommodating the more you use it as it gets softer. But still, I don't think you would want to overfill this wallet because the profile will kind of be ruined that way. This is the perfect size wallet for my smaller crossbodies and other bags, and it's just super cute. I love the gold hardware detailing here, and the brown is a gorgeous rich brown that is very warm, and overall I feel like the wallet is a nice and classic piece. Next up is the Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet. Also in the monogram canvas, but in the fuchsia leather interior. As you can see, the button is also fuchsia, so it matches the interior. This retails for $720, and this particular piece was made in France, as you can see. This is quite similar in style to the Victorine wallet. Let me bring it in. They are similar in style because they're both envelope styles, but the Sarah wallet is obviously larger and the edges here are a lot rounder and softer compared to these classic envelope style that is in the Victorine wallet. Even though this is a larger wallet, I love that it isn't bulky and it also has quite a slim profile. I bought this to go in my larger handbags and sometimes I even wear this as a clutch. As you can see, the interior is gorgeous. Um, I don't know that a lot of Louis Vuitton pieces have monogram on the inside, but this one does in the form of two different pockets. And then there's this zip compartment right here with the four card slots in the front. I love the beautiful and bright interior. It's definitely very eye-catching and I love using this in the winter for that pop of beautiful festive color. Overall, I don't feel like this is a redundant addition to my collection because of the differences I mentioned and because of the different purpose that it served. Such a beautiful piece. This is a great style if you like longer wallets. Next up, we have another Louis Vuitton piece. This here is the Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire. This is in the monogram canvas and it was made in Spain, which you can see right here. This now retails for $745. That's almost the same price as the last wallet I just showed you, which to me is a little bit unbelievable. I did not purchase this for that price. I actually purchased this a long time ago. I just have never used it and I'm still undecided about this piece to be honest. I mean you can see here it still has like the stuffing inside it. I just haven't used it at all. I don't think I'm gonna sell it though. I'm still thinking about it. It is a very beautiful piece but I definitely wouldn't buy this now especially with how it's priced. I really just don't think it's worth it in my opinion. I thought I would share it anyways. It is very pretty and it is a nice size. I feel like it's kind of in between the key pouch and the pochette accessoire sizing, which I think is a reason why I haven't ever felt the need to use it. I don't know. I thought I'd share this anyways. Lastly for Louis Vuitton is the cosmetic pouch GM. So this is the bigger of the two sizes and it is in the monogram canvas. This retails for $675. This piece is relatively new to me, and I bought it so that I could use it as a pouch for my larger bags, and also so that I could stay organized um, when I travel and things like that. I'm also considering using this to store some of my smaller things for traveling, either tech or I suppose this is used for cosmetics, but honestly, I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of terrified to put cosmetics in here because the interior is this beautiful light beige color and uh, that makes me very nervous. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes my makeup just leaks everywhere, um, but who knows? I might get like an insert or something or choose makeup that, you know, 
doesn't leak as much. <laughs> but overall, I'm really pleased with this uh, pouch. It, it definitely is pretty spacious inside compared to how it looks on the outside. Um, and I think because of the smaller profile and the way that it's designed, it would fit really well in different um, bags and in my luggage as well. So I'm pretty happy with this purchase. I'm glad that it'll be able to accommodate a variety of different uses. Moving on to my one and only small leather good from Chanel. It is the beautiful classic card holder in the black caviar leather and the gold hardware. Let me take off the felt so you can see it a little bit better. I purchased this for around $550 plus tax. This is one of my favorite pieces. It has this gorgeous burgundy interior. It's not leather though. Um, and the pop snap closure is really pretty and the sound it makes is just as satisfying. So I love using this. As you can see, I still have the protective film over the hardware. I've mentioned this before. I sometimes am very careful <laughs> with some of my pieces and I just don't like to take them off for a while. <laughs> um, some people say, as I've said before, some people say that this is actually bad for the hardware, but I don't know, I just can't bear to take it off just yet. Even though I have used this out and about. I enjoy using this mostly with my Chanel handbags, um, but it. because it's black, it goes with everything. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but most of my leather goods are neutral colors. I actually used to have a Chanel coin zip wallet in the beige Claire color. I'll see if I can insert a picture right here for you. But I was just so terrified of using that wallet because of how light the color was and how heavily I use my small leather goods. So I ended up selling that piece. Anyways, this one isn't going anywhere. Look at how gorgeous the quilting and the caviar leather is on this. It has this nice pocket right here and another pocket right here and plenty of space for some credit cards and some coins. Also, this piece was made in France. I love when I get to use this piece. Now these next pieces are not technically considered luxury, but they are designer pieces. Um, and so this is from Tory Burch. This cutie is the Robinson zip coin case in the patent black leather, I believe. I bought this so long ago and I use it all the time. I don't remember anymore, but I think I bought it around maybe $120 or something like that. I have gotten so many compliments whenever I use this. It's so easy and versatile and I just, it goes with casual or dressy looks, especially in the winter. This definitely is a lot less expensive compared to my other, SLGs, but it still packs a punch. The zip closure is just so convenient and the interior fits so many cards and some cash as well. It has these two pockets on the sides and then these two separate compartments on either side. And it also has this uh, key ring here. I've never used it with the key ring, honestly, because when you close it, it, it just hangs out of the zipper and I, I don't like how that looks. So you can just tuck it in here and it really doesn't bother me too much. I love this one so much that I ended up purchasing two different versions of it from the Tory Burch outlet. So this one is a matte black version of the same wallet. And then this one is the lavender kind of purple color that I used all of last summer. These are truly versatile and staple pieces at a fraction of the cost of the other SLGs that I have. So definitely if you're on the market and you're new to SLGs, I do recommend this gorgeous rendition. So these two wallets are actually not the Robinson, which is this one. You can see that the Tory Burch logo is a lot bigger on these two. So it turns out these two are the Emerson style, but they're essentially the exact same thing. Um, the same kind of zip with the um, key ring. These three great purchases. 
Lastly from Tory Burch is this adorable top zip card case in pink. Um, I think I also got this at the outlet. I'm not sure though. But if you watch my Chanel walk unboxing, you will have seen me use it there. This is yet another great small leather good from Tory Burch. It's such a fun spring kind of summer color and it fits the perfect amount of essential items. As you can see, it has three card slots and a pretty decent amount of space. It is on, on the slimmer side though. As I mentioned before, I feel like a lot of my SLGs are in more like blacks and neutral colors. Buying these fun colors from these designer brands, and don't get me wrong, these are still expensive, but just not as expensive as the other brands. This is a great way for me to experiment with color without spending as much money. So lastly, I have a couple of small leather goods from Coach that I figured I'd share in this video. Here they both are. One I wore to the ground and the other I never wore. Can you guess which is which? <laughs> so let me start with the one I never wore. It's this magenta color corner zip wristlet pouch. And although the color is beautiful, I mean, I feel like it's actually more beautiful on camera than it is in real life. Quite large. I just never reached for it. I bought it to be a bit larger than this black one here so it would fit kind of my phone. But that's my fault for not reading the description properly. Anyways. Next is this gorgeous Coach double zip wallet slash wristlet. This is in the same pebbled leather and I've had this for about six to seven years, probably more than that. This piece is what got me into small leather goods to begin with. It is the origin, so to speak, of my entire collection. I used to carry large bags and fill them to the brim. And then I really got sick of that, my shoulders hurt, and I decided to drastically minimize what I carried with me. So I bought this and I have never looked back. I don't think they sell this exact model anymore, but I will try and link a similar model from um, either Coach or the outlet if you are interested. But here it is. It's, as you can see, I've used it so much that the hardware has turned silver <laughs> um, and the zippers are struggle a little to open sometimes now. But when I tell you I pack this baby full of stuff, um, I know I said I bought it to minimize my stuff, but it actually carries a lot. It has two like, very flexible slots right here, a nice large compartment, and another compartment right here. So I don't know if you can tell, but it has this gorgeous kind of, um, I don't know, is this a patina? But you can see that I've worn this so much. The leather is lovely and soft now, and you know, Sometimes I will actually reach for this. This piece has a very special place in my heart because as I said before, this is my first SLG and I am going to hold on to it for as long as I can. That sums up my SLG collection. I am so happy to have each of these gorgeous pieces to use. I know a lot of people say that SLGs are a waste of money, but quite frankly, that depends on your lifestyle and what you like to carry. SLGs are exactly what I like to carry around and they work very well for me and my lifestyle. At the end of the day, get what works for you and not everybody else. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to see more content like this. And as always, if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below and see you in the next one. Bye! I love that this wallop is wallop. <laughs>